Hey, it's Solo Guy Coding again today, and uh, you know, I've only made a few of these courage boards that you've seen me make before. Um, I came on to a couple other designs here, and uh, this one here, which uh, needs some some work. This is, has got a cover, it doesn't fit flat, and uh, if you pop it off, then there's rooms for cards in there and whatnot. That would, was intended to be held on by magnets which uh, you, you can see I've got cuts in there and cuts in here for these long bar magnets. Let's see, do I have any sitting around here? I should have. Well, anyway, um, that that would hold in there. And once the magnets were on it, probably would be somewhat stable. I think I've got this uh, pattern off of uh, uh, Back to Easy. And uh, I had to do a little massage to it to get some of the background off of it. But it came out actually pretty good, I think. It's not too bad. But, you know, there's a problem with all of these uh, cribbage boards, besides the fact that uh, I need to do better sanding on these guys. Uh, I mean, uh, like this, uh, is it this one? No. You can see, you know, right off the top, there's defects in the boards I like to sign off, uh, find, uh, sand off, and I'm just not into sanding that much, so. Um, I've got to come up with a, a device to do that for me. On the back, it looks pretty bad. I did start adding these uh, hanger things so you could stick it up on the wall someplace and hang it up. Um, but, you know, these are all trash right now because I realized I made a mistake. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There's 24 groups, which is correct. And all of them should be 5. Unfortunately, <laughs> this one's 6. <laughs> Dang. So... Um, so I've got to change my pattern and, and do these over again. I do say I have some sticks this size that uh, I ordered off of Amazon, uh, little oak things, I think. I could try putting those in there in the last set of holes here and seeing what they look like. But I'd have to, you know, if anybody wanted these, these are really not that great. I want to do better. So uh, we'll fix the pattern and we'll uh, look at a way of doing better. Besides maybe using hardwood instead of pine, which would, you know, alleviate some of this problem. It'd look a lot nicer. I mean, this top piece here, uh, that's, uh, that's oak. I'd like to use some other woods too, but, you know, unless I find a wood source around here, find a wood store, and uh, be willing to pay the prices, you know, otherwise I'll just keep going to Menards for the time being. But we'll find out. I'd like to... Uh, eventually get into doing better woods and uh, you know, better, nicer products. But I think I need something to sand some of this stuff first. And, you know, I got a little random orbital sander, but you know, that's boring. <laughs> sanding, sanding. I want a tool. So we're going to look at that coming up here too on one of these videos coming up soon. I don't want to give all the uh, surprises away here. It's something I started working on before we uh, had the fire in the room here, but uh, it's, I'm almost there. I, I mean, let me take you for a look around the room here how different it's changed. I'm just going to pop this guy up like this. There we go. Let's see if you can even see here. This is probably all upside down. But um, you, you may not notice there's still some junk laying around here. I gotta get cleaned up. But there's a lot of more, a lot more space here, and that's because I took a shelf that was uh, blocking uh, in the back of the wall there. I took that out and I gained a few more inches, so it feels a little bit more spacious, at least to me, up front here. I also took the rails off the front and the uh, iPad that uh, was uh, doing uh, using as a touch screen. That used to sit out here. Uh, I'm going to look for a different approach for that, for the software, for uh, um, for the lowrider. All right. So you can see there's still a lot of junk on top of the CNC machine. This is uh, <laughs> like the day after I got this air cleaner, and it's been uh, blowing down here for months. 
Um, you know, I suppose the smoke odor disappears. I don't know how long, but it certainly disappeared when I put this down here. So would it have disappeared on its own? I don't know. Or maybe I just wasted money on a uh, on a um, air cleaner. Maybe I don't know. But it the smoke smell is gone. So <laughs> so I used to have a shelf sitting over here where this little pile of junk is here, and uh, that shelf is now inside the closet. Let's make sure we're zoomed out all the way. Yeah, uh, sure. And uh, you can still see there's, I haven't touched the, the CNC machine after the fire, so uh, that's still got a lot of trash and some melted tubing. Um, there's still smoke damage up there. I've washed it as much as I can. I think we just need to paint at some point, but uh, uh, we can do it sometime. I'm not really interested in doing it right now. It doesn't smell in here anymore. So lots of garbage, you know, lots of garbage. Oh, and of course, you know, you know you've probably seen my shelf here before um, with all the goodies in there and I've put a new shelf in. I took the synthesizer out that went upstairs and I added that shelf and shortened down my desk that used to be eight feet long and take up the whole side of the room here. But uh, now I've got more space over here chair doesn't go under there but I've got shelf underneath blocking that and you may look at that and say oh my god that's leaning and it is it's on there securely it's just leaning I don't care I've um, got another little shelf up here to hold some of the odds and ends of the shelf that was sitting behind the CNC machine get rid of that uh, the old Dracula uh, what is this some laser uh, video disc RCA video disc I don't have a player for it, and then of course you know you got to have the uh, Rocky Horror photo disc there too, uh, for you guys who've been to the Rocky Horror movies before in the theaters, you know, long ago. You know, do they still play that any place? You'll have to let me know. So I think we've got some heat damage on the um, blinds up there. I think that's where that came from. And you may, uh, let me show you this, I've got this blue uh, rectangle marked out on the floor here. And uh, that's the estimated size for the um, dust collection system that, uh, that I'd like to get and put in here. Maybe we'll get to that this month or next month. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. And of course, with all this extra space over here, it becomes, even if you have, have the dust cleaner there, you can get easier access to the outlet box, which is something the uh, fire department uh, scolded us on. And we also have access to the window again. So if we need to escape, you know, there it is. That's another thing the fire department scolded us on. And the fact that we were using a shop vac, he, they didn't like that either. So that's why I'm going with a soon-to-be uh, dust collection system over here. We'll see how that goes. And I got lots of junk still that is up here on the CNC machine. It's just been the dumping ground. Um, and I'm down to that point now where I have to work on that area. So let's put a little light underneath and you can see some of the changes down there. So now, um, I have some storage boxes in there. Those are weights on the back of the uh, um, router there. That router slides out a bit and these are the counterweights. And down here I've got a bunch of storage boxes of crap. Some old uh, synthesizer electronic stuff that I should tear into and dig apart. And also a bunch of more cables and stuff. So, it's much neater than it was. It was filled to the brim with scraps of wood, which again the fire department did not uh, like at all. So, <laughs> so we're correcting things at least. And uh, let's see, what else is new? What else is new? Hmm. Oh, this is new. I've been looking for a bigger motor or uh, electric motor for this. Uh, project I'm going to build <clears throat> um, and this is a two horsepower electric motor a uh, very kind gentleman down in the southern part of the Twin Cities here in Minnesota had that up on Craigslist 
and most people wanted uh, you know two to four hundred dollars for something like this and this guy wanted forty dollars just popped up so I jumped on it one weekend and uh, happily handed over my forty dollars he just wanted to get rid of it he wanted to quit tripping over it but it works it sounds good so uh, I'm gonna the cable on here is nice and heavy but uh, we're gonna clean up the connections here at that side and uh, where the plug is I think that's probably back here someplace yeah there's a plug yeah that's uh, past the insulation there so oops get it on camera so we will and very loose so we will fix that up too. grab a whole new one this one seems like it's cracked but starts up shuts down very nicely so very happy about that got some other junk down here that I should uh, tear apart um, and what else is new in here not too much right now not much else I just got to get that um, dust collector system in here and get the CNC machine running again hopefully there was no damage I don't think there was but I have not powered it up since that day so oh these are <laughs> these are some batteries that uh, we bought um, for the mother-in-law's oxygen machine uh, I forget what kind it was I don't know what to do with them. We actually bought the machine uh, when we rented it for the mother-in-law came with one, but uh, we needed to go on uh, to Alaska with her and to uh, um, or to the Caribbean, and uh, you have to have uh, what is it, two hundred percent of uh, battery life on the plane for you for the flight that you are taking so you have twice as enough back you have to have twice enough batteries as you would expect to normally use so uh fortunately at the time there were some available on ebay and uh, we paid too much money for these things uh, we do have a charger someplace and once i tossed it out we that was extra too that was another couple hundred dollars for a crappy uh two slot battery charger so what's inside here i don't know we should look take one of those part apart and look look again and i think they're uh probably nickel cadmium no oh, re rechargeable lithium ion Looks like I did an oops here and I gave them the machine back with not their battery. Oops. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know they had a sticker on one of those or if I would have hunted down for it and put the right one in. But uh, they, all the batteries seem decent, so I don't think they got gypped. Just out of a sticker. Yeah, so same old, same old otherwise. Oh, we got this old... Uh, toy pinball machine game here that was up on the wall behind the CNC machine and uh, you know, it, uh, it sort of works if you really work at it but yeah it's not wired up and back but uh, it's a fun old artifact that uh, we found someplace garage sale um, maybe anyway there you have it that's where I'm at Years ago, I tried to make a long curved, uh, um, what do they call those, staff, musical staff. And when the whole thing was here, it had to, it tried to bend it with some uh, steam and stuff. It didn't bend all that much. but uh, So this is about a fourth of it here that's still left. I've cut it up to be manageable, and now I've gotten rid of most of it. So I think this one's ready to go, too. This is that shelf that was behind there that we took down, so you can see how thick that was. And, uh, I don't know. What else? I think that's it for now. Oop, there is a fan lab video on my computer. Uh-oh. I'll have to watch that one. So, thanks, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon with some CNC projects, hopefully. Bye. But wait, don't go yet. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can see future episodes from this channel. And if you'd like to help out and support this channel, uh, go to patreon.com slash someoldguycoding for as little as a dollar a month. We really appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.